It was time to hit the road and experience my first Sedona mountain bike festival. After having to cancel my visit last fall due to a family emergency, I was motivated not to miss this year's event. I packed the Forerunner and endured the 12 hour drive across the Southwest to Sedona, Arizona. Posse Grounds Park. I just arrived at the festival. It's 41 degrees outside. It's not warm. It's really wet. And I think it's going to get wetter, but it's not snowing here. It's snowing way up there. It's pretty freaking cold here. The Sedona Mountain Bike Festival is one of the largest gatherings of mountain bike manufacturers, promoters, personalities, and most importantly, riders in the United States. It's a great place to see new technology, talk with industry professionals, and chance a meeting or two with some mountain biking personalities. Hey, Cali Rado Kid! Hi, hey, look, I'm in the middle of something, all right? Take, oh. take a hike. Sorry, man. Hey, buddy, I'm sorry. Everyone is in town for a great time and to ride. Oh, oh, oh. Nice! Sedona's trail systems are vast. All sides of the town have access to great trails at all levels. Anyone could come here and have a great time on the bike. I know I did. The canyons are spectacular and the vistas are unique and incredible. But that's all I can really say about the trails. I only joined for one ride. My back went out on me a few days prior to the event and I'm afraid I spent most of my time enjoying the town and walking the village. Is there a bar at the top of the hill? That'd be really nice. My ride was short but fun. Job opening! Thanks to the Calirado Kid, riding dirty, and Temecula's trail dogs for letting me tag along while riding the Mezcal, Yucca, Long Canyon, Dead Man's Pass, and Canyon of Fools trails. What are you doing, Austin? I'm you waving the flag. Oh, so glorious. Outside Magazine recently required Gaia GPS, Trail Forks, Pink Bike, and Cycling Tips. They had a big presence at the show, and their beta brand hosted the film festival at the event and featured 10 compelling and beautifully shot stories that inspired, motivated, and brought a tear to my eye on more than one occasion.
Sedona is a city of just over 10,000 residents. Tucked away between Flagstaff and Phoenix, this Arizona gem attracts people interested in a variety of activities. From hiking, to horseback, to riding, to spirituality, to mountain biking, there's plenty of room in these wide open spaces for everyone to find a place to enjoy their passion. Sedona also has some great local beer right here in town. Oak Creek Brewing and the Sedona Beer Company both feature great beers and fun places to enjoy a brew after a hard ride. The winter months can get chilly, as we found out after a freak storm blew in the weekend of the festival. Look at this freaking snow. I mean, I'm not in Sedona yet. I'm still up near Flagstaff, but are we gonna ride? This is insane. Well, I brought beer. But it warms up around April and it can get pretty warm in the summer months, topping out at an average of almost 100 degrees at the peak. Overall, Sedona has a lot to offer. If you're an outdoors enthusiast and you love the sun, then you need to visit. It's an amazing place and it was worth the trip. I can't wait to return. Thanks for coming along.